I have not showed you the one transformation, the one Optavia hack that I do most often with my fuelings now. So let's have fun with fuelings. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Elizabeth and I'm living in the light by documenting my weight loss journey and I'm using Octavia's five in one program. So far I have lost 116 pounds of the 150 pound goal that I have for myself right now. And I am absolutely loving this program. I have been on the program for 11 months, almost exactly, and continuing to lose weight and enjoying the fuelings, enjoying my lean and greens, feeling great about myself and knowing that I am getting healthier and healthier every day. Before I show you this particular fun with feelings episode though, would you please give me a thumbs up? It really does help my channel and it helps me as well. And if you haven't subscribed, I would love it if you would subscribe and share the videos, especially if you know somebody who is on Octavia or somebody who is trying to lose weight. My Lean and Green With Me recipes are just plain healthy recipes that are great and I do lots of fun with fuelings that will tell you how to transform some of your fuelings using only water. You heard me say before that I'm not a big fan of the, uh, the changes that they made to the golden pancake and the golden chocolate chip pancake. Um, not a fan at all. And I wasn't even gonna order them anymore until I realized that they make a really good substitute for the, a replacement for the cinnamon cream cheese swirl cakes that um, they have discontinued sadly. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make chocolate, chocolate chip waffles. I'm gonna use the golden chocolate chip pancake mix and a creamy chocolate shake mix. You can use either of the pancake mixes and any of the shake mixes and combine them together. I've even used the mint soft serve. I have done the dark cherry chocolate is really good. The peanut butter with the chocolate chip is really good. Any combination is going to work and it's so super simple. All I'm going to do is dump the two fuelings into a bowl and I have it on my kitchen scale because I do want to make sure that I divide this mixture evenly um, between my two waffles to make sure that I'm separating it into two equal fuelings because that is really important. So I have my bowl zeroed out on the scale. I added the one fueling. I'm gonna add the other fueling. And then I'm gonna add about five tablespoons of water, but what I'm gonna do, add most of it, and then I wanna make sure whatever number I have on my scale, I can divide that easily in half. So let me see if I can get it to this four and three quarters. Good, I'm gonna put it right, it's right at five. So I'm gonna do two and a half ounces per um, and that will be helpful. So I'm just gonna mix this until it is thoroughly combined, super easy to do that. I like to use a small rubber spatula because I can continually scrape the sides to make sure that I get all of the mixture in there and you want to make sure you scrape the bottom so that nothing gets stuck in a crevice at the edge of the bowl. I have my Dash Mini Waffle Maker and it's already heating up. I have found that with the Dash, if I will allow it to heat up for about five minutes, that will just ensure that it is plenty hot. Also, I don't want to use too much water in the mixture because it, it doesn't need the extra water, so you just need to be careful. So I'm gonna I'm gonna zero out my scale again and I want two and a half ounces in here. This is just to make sure that I have equal halves of the fueling. I'm almost to there we go, that's two and a half ounces. So that's gonna be one. This is gonna be two and a half ounces. I'm gonna use just a little bit of um, nonstick spray, not very much, just a, a quick little spritz. It's like 15 sprays to equal a condiment. So, you know, I have like an eighth 
maybe of a condiment there. And I want to make sure I get as much of this in there because I want to make sure that I have two and a half ounces, which is anything remaining in the bowl. And I push it a little bit towards the back because when you close it, it's going to kind of push it towards the front. Here's another little thing that I like to do is when I close it, I'm not going to close it all the way. I'm going to gently hold it open a little bit. Sometimes I use a fork because if it gets steamy, um, it gets tough, but this will help to keep it from overflowing. So as it starts to cook, it's expanding and eventually it's going to actually hold this open. So when I let go now, it's not going to go down anymore and it gives it a little bit of room to for the waffle to expand without it seeping out over the side. So that's a little hint for you that I'm gonna set my timer for four minutes and that's the max that I wanna cook it. I don't wanna cook it any more than that. And I'm gonna let it go. The steaming should mostly stop and I will be right back. My timer went off. I actually have one finished and I will revise what I said. It's actually two minutes not four minutes, four minutes would be too long. Another pro tip, when you go to open your waffle maker, just gently, gently lift. And if it doesn't, if it resists at all, then your waffle's not ready. So those of you who have had problems with your waffle basically splitting and sticking both sides, that is one way that you can avoid that. I've got two lovely chocolate chocolate chip waffles. Each one of them is its own fueling. Plenty sweet, does not need any syrup. Please don't add things to your fuelings if you don't absolutely have to do it. It re really is sweet enough and your body, you need to give your body time to adjust to the change in the level of sweetness of your food. So we might, you might be really used to a lot of sugar, but if you don't give your body time to adjust, then you will just fall right back into those old habits when you stop doing Optivia and feel like you still need to have that sweetness and end up gaining your weight back. And we really don't wanna do that. So teach your body to live without some of the things. Try this one out. Let me know in the comments box down below what combination of pancake and shake you tried and what you think about it. And until I see you next time, please live in the light.